Hello Mayflower Mill students. Today I'm going to teach you and show you how to play the, the game of tetherball properly. The object of the game is to wrap the string around the pole hitting the ball. There's two players involved. Number one is the server. The server starts the game and they decide which direction the ball will be hit. The other person is called the opponent. That's the person that the server will play. Now during play, there are five rules you must follow. Let me show you what they are right now. Number one rule is when the ball is coming around, if you touch the string during play, you are out. Number two, if you stop the ball in any way during play, catching it, then you are out. The third rule, if the ball hits you in any way except for your hand, your arms, your legs, even your face, then you are considered out. Rule number four, during play you're not allowed to touch the pole. And the last rule is uh, the line on the ground. You're not allowed to pass the line. Now we have a small problem outside. There is no line. So servers, what I'd like for you to do before you start your game is to take your foot and just make a line in the dirt on each side of the pole as I'm showing you right now. That way the judge will be able to tell if you cross the line or not. The next part of the tetherball I'd like to talk to you about is the judge. And most importantly, boys and girls, this part of the game is what's called integrity. Integrity means to act according to what is right and wrong. And then what I mean by that is the judge will call, will make the rule calls during the game. They are the ones that are in charge. Whatever they say goes. If they call you out because you strung the ball, you are out. If they say you crossed the line because you did, then you are out. Then the judge becomes the next player. The person that is out goes to the end of the line. We're going to talk about how the game is played. First of all, the server uh, decides what direction the ball will go. The server taps the ball lightly. The opponent is not allowed to touch the ball until it goes around the pole one time. When it comes back to the server, the game begins. Now, the opponent is trying to hit the ball the opposite way that the server is hitting it. And whoever can wrap the string around the pole going their way by hitting the ball wins the game. Now let's talk about those five rules I talked about as we play. So we're going to start the game, I'm going to hit the ball soft, it goes around one time, then it comes back and we can play. Now during play, remember you're not allowed to string the ball. If you do, the judge will call you out. Number two, when the ball comes around, remember you cannot catch the ball or stop it. Number three, as the ball comes around and you hit the ball, not allowed to touch your body at all. Face, hands, any part of your body or you're out. Number four, during play, as the ball comes around, the server or the opponent is not allowed to <laughs> touch the pole in any way. If you do, you're out. you're out. And the last rule is you're not, the opponent stays on one side of the line, the server stays on the other side of the line. No one is allowed to cross the line during play. Another thing I'd like to talk about is, boys and girls, is when you break a rule and you know it, but the judge doesn't call you out, you still should go out. That's called having high integrity. Play a pretend game. 